Okay. I don't know why it won't let me go live. I, as far okay, let's let's reverse that too. Uh oh. There we are. I had to reverse to so that you guys could see the uh, the torch instead of me. I don't know why I can't get live chat feed going on. It won't let me for some reason. I tried pressing the button several times and it won't let me because I guess I'm doing it on my my phone instead of the but I don't understand why that would be but life goes on right right <laughs> look at that ugly face of mine at least you don't see the top of my head like the other one <laughs> anyway uh, good to see other another person is watching uh, if you I wish there was a way that I could do this live and still have a video chat going on I mean Oh, wow, that is quite recent, so that's good. I'm listening to, I, I just saw the uh, the channel. Anyway, I'm going to do one more quick video. I'm sorry that I did not get to uh, get to, to do the live chat thing, but I'll figure it out one of these days. I've got this nice diacroic glass here. We're gonna make that into a, a little. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! We're gonna make that bottom part there into a frog. Let's see what we can do. Sound good? Sounds good to me, man. Let's see what we can do. This is some diacrylic strip that I made up earlier. Matter of fact, let's go through the process of making the diacrylic strip. And I know I've done it several times, but it never hurts never hurts to, to uh, repeat yourself because one person will hear it quite nicely today and another person will, won't even begin it or will, will ignore it. Okay, this is a piece of dichro. Dichro meaning two because you can see a reflective color and then you can see a transmitted color. There's like a emerald green and a purple of some sort. Film side up, and you can tell the film side because you can see the reflective edge all the way to the edge of the glass. I'm gonna polish it off a little bit so you don't see all my fingerprints on it. And now, this is a simple way that you can take that diacrylic glass that you got sitting around and you're thinking, oh no, it's too expensive, I can't play with it. And this is a simple way that you can make it work for you and make it work for you well. It's just a matter of uh, letting it happen. And this is very simple and I learned how to do it very long ago. And I am glad to share this part of it with everybody. Again, if you um, don't forget to uh, Click like, click click subscribe. I'm I'm just babbling on, of course. Um, and also, if you have an idea for a future show or want me to try to do something for you, just ask, and I'll see about if I can do it. Let's kick this up in a little bit of a notch. The outer ring does really well. Glad to see that people are watching. Now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a press down a Maria and the Maria is gonna be big enough to go around that whole piece of dichro there. And in just a second, I'll have enough, I think. We shall see. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I picked up some nice dichro when I went to Glass Vegas, which was at the end of January there. It was a grand old show. I got a chance to meet and greet a lot of people. And anybody that recognized me at the show, I gave them a little quartz figurine that I do. I had a lot of them ready to go, so that it was, you know, just something that somebody says, hey, 
And I said, so you recognize me? You get this. I didn't tell anybody beforehand, but now what I'm gonna do is I stuck it, I heated it up and stuck it to the bottom of the Maria. And what I'm gonna do now is just add a lot of colored glass just underneath where the die crow was, just to the edge of the die crow, because all of that clear, I'm gonna to try to round into the top so that uh, it becomes part of the die crow strip. And this is what I'll make into the frog instead of the other thing. Because I can, okay? flatten it down a little bit more and now what I'm going to do is you can see that it's irregular <coughs> <coughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just I've got right off screen here in this direction I guess I could tilt it up a little bit and let you see that action going on real quick okay just below the heat shield on you're not seeing it at the moment, but you'll see it now. No, even further down. Dang it. There we go. Just have to put up with it, folks. Sorry. I want you to see that part of it. You've already seen me melting, so this is just... What I'm doing is I'm marbling the clear to the edge of where the color is. And I might even round it in a little bit. There we go. And it's looking really good to this point. Now heat and press the out the outside edge a little bit more. Oops. Okay. Now we're that basically showed you what I was doing there. Okay. 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 Oops. Wrong. There we go. There we go. Now I'm gonna. You can press that out just a little bit more and as you can see I've rounded off the edges of that die crow to where it's now to the edge or of the, where the color is and also that is part of the uh, where the clear is too so you can see it and, and in just a second I'm going to take my high precision cutting instrument wire cutters and nip off this blob that I made, or the Maria that I made, with the dicro in it. Then I'll stretch it out into a little rod or a strip that I can make lizards out of, and that I can do a whole bunch of stuff with. And if I do this right, just as is, I can make this into a pendant but I will stretch it and make it into something else. There we go. Because it's glowing right now, you really can't see the color. But it is dynamic to say the least. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and stretch that. Yeah, this is some of the diacrylic glass that I picked up while at um, Las Vegas and the name of the company is me my dyslexia is going to work here um, CBS glass uh, uh, and they do diacroic film on the glass and it's really really some nice colors that I got out of it I bought a bag of scrap and played with it and had a grand old time he also gave me another thing that I'm going to try out that I haven't yet, which is diacroic extract. And when I figure out a good way to make it work, I will show you how I made it work. So you can make it work as well and get something out of it. When he gave it to me, I said, I will not hold back. I will not... Uh, Tell people it's a great product if it's not a great product that's the way I am and he took that to its its level and you can see that emerald green is like bling I love it to death I, I wish I'd gotten more of that emerald green this was 
a bag of scraps, so I, I had to, I couldn't pick and choose. <laughs> but there were a couple other colors. You saw one of the other ones that uh, that came with it, that, that nice, um, this red glittery, which is pretty cool stuff as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna make this into a frog, but it's gonna be several pieces. So this one's gonna be a smaller frog. Pendant piece. So. Should have pinched where the head is. And that's so that I can uh, see where the head is. And then I'll pinch about where I'm going to make the back part of the frog. There we go. Again, if there's anything that somewhere down the line that you would like to see me make or want to suggest on a show, never hurts. I'm sorry that I didn't get the chatting problem fixed on this thing, but I will because that's one of the things I did like in the past where people could chat away with me while I was live. Sorry about that, folks. We'll get it straightened out eventually. Or not. But that was the best part about me going live. And the reason I stopped doing the live shows, one good reason is that it wasn't as high quality. But lately, my A, I got a better camera phone B I think my internet connection has improved immensely from the very first time that I started doing my shows and C like I said it's coming out better but the thing I don't like is not being able to chat with you guys while I'm doing it so I'm sorry for that folks Now I'm going to pinch that off completely. This is the back end of where the frog is going to be. Put a punte at the end of his nose for now. I am going to add a little bit more glass to the top of where the body is going to be. magnify the dichro that's there. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get it. this one. This will work. Um, actually, yeah, I think I'm going to do a jade green glass for the uh, legs see how that works and I'm just going to let that round in and that will again magnify the uh, the actual body of the dichro I could even press it out just a little bit more now that I've got all that glass not much but a little there we go. Smooth and fire polish that. That's looking good. Here we go. This color jade? No. Next. What's we'll left to do? We'll have to pull this out a little bit first. Frogs are one of my favorite things that I like to do. Dragons are my most favorite. I just did a video on dragons. Um, and it was a live feed as well. Uh, I'm glad that there are people watching live. 
We will get the interaction down again, I promise. By hook, by crook, or by watching a video or two on YouTube on how to go live feeds with chat. Right? Right. <laughs> they'll, they'll dim on straight just about anything they want you to know. Hey. It works. There's one leg. Here comes the other. Fold it forward, pull it forward, then fold it back. And then pull off the back part of the leg. And that is looking, look at that. Bling! I'll do a cold weld. Here it is where his butt is. Now put the front legs on. And the bale underneath his chin. There we go. Glad to see that people are still watching. Okay. Front legs. There we go. And we'll put a bale underneath his chin. Should have put the back toes on while I was back there before I put the punte on, but oh well, sometimes you forget and can't do everything all at once. Some nice eyes, and then I'm going to put a nice little blue eye on top of that, sort of give it a googly eye. One. Not quite, let's add a little bit more. There we go. A little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. There we go. Two. Now a bale. We started about here. And bring it up just underneath the chin. Now some toes, so it can be like totally, totally okay. Or totally froggy, I guess. Not totally, totally. <laughs> Bad pun, I know. But hey, that's what life's all about. Mm -hmm. Nice dicro frog. Hold plenty at the end of his nose again so I can do the back toes. And he's done. And I will call it quits for this adventure. I'm really excited about going live again and I missed it. And I have missed the live interaction. And again, technology is catching up to where it will be better. We just have to uh, learn how to chat again. I enjoy it. As always, I tell people Carpe Vitro. Enjoy your day. This will do.
oops, let's get the uh, pair of tweezers on it just right. Oh, let's do it here. There we go. And bring it down. And ain't that something. That bling bling with that die crow, you can't beat it. Again, thanks for watching. Happy Vitro. And enjoy your day.